Okay, folks, we're going to try and start this out with part two. Uh, ran into this sort of a big problem when I went to cut the hole out with the grinder. There's a lot of a lot of rust down in there. So what I'm going to do is I've got some aluminum flashing. I'm going to clean it all up. Wrap it with aluminum flashing and then fill it in around the hole with aluminum flashing. The, the aluminum won't melt because it's on the bottom, so the heat will all be towards the top. Uh, after going through all the work of cutting the hole, I really hate to throw it away, so we're just uh, we're going to work on with what we got. I'm going to start wire brushing a little bit back here uh, in this area uh, right now, so I'll turn the camera back on when we get a little bit more done. Okay, we got rained out yesterday, so I never got back to you. But now, here's where the, the rust broke out, and we're going to have to put the flashing all the way around, like I mentioned before. There's a tab I welded on to hold it in place. A couple tacks on the back side. The sun is so bright out here, I don't know whether you're seeing this or not. But there's a couple more tacks that I put there. And now we're going to we're going to start over here side over here with the flashing and I'll get back to you when oh well what the heck hold on just a minute flashing cut. Talk to you in a minute. Bye. one pop rivet in. For those of you who don't know what pop rivets are, this is what they look like. And this is the pop rivet tool. You drill a hole, you stick that in the hole through two pieces of metal, put it in there, put that down through the hole, and squeeze it, and it'll spread it on the other side and pull it tight. Put this in the pop rivet tool. Push it down into the hole that we just drilled. And 
There it is. Tight as can be. Okay, we're going to shut you off till we get the rest of this piece pop riveted down, and then we'll get back to you again. Okay, I'm back again. What we're doing now is trying to make a, a template out of some cardboard. Fit right around there. I need to come out here just a little bit more. Take that out a little bit more and see what we get. this out on some some of the flashing now and then we'll yeah, lay that out on the flashing now so I'm going to move the camera back a little bit further so you can see what's going on just a little bit better okay and we'll get back to you Okay, we got about as much sheet metal on as we're going to do for today. Uh, I think if we get a chance, it won't be tomorrow. Tomorrow we're taking the boat out and going fishing. Uh, maybe one day this weekend, if we get some days when it isn't rain, I'm going to cut those legs off of it, reinforce the legs with the road with the wheels on it, and uh, I'll put some hangers to help support the bottom of that thing. Okay, thanks for watching. This was the end of part two. Bye.